Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to enable managed identity in Azure OpenAI and Azure AI Search. We'll also take a look at how to enable inbound managed identity authentication in Azure AI Search. None of these settings are enabled by default. So let's jump in and take a look at how to configure these settings inside the Azure portal. Now in this demo, I've already logged into my Azure portal and I've navigated to Azure AI Services and the specific AI service instance that I wanna deal with. To enable this service to be exposed using Managed Identity, I go to Resource Management, go under Identity, and here I simply set the status to On and then hit Save. And this will allow this instance of this service to be selected and have permissions and roles assigned to it in other Azure services. In my experience, when you change these settings, it's updated relatively quickly. So I should be able to add this to other resources right away. Now that's completed. Let's take a look at how to do the same thing for Azure AI Search. Just like we saw before, I've already navigated to the specific instance of Azure AI Search that I want to deal with. Here, I go under Settings and navigate down to Identity and do the exact same thing that we saw before, turn this on and hit Save. And this takes it just a moment and it'll complete. And you can see here it's already completed and now this service will be available for selection for system assigned slash managed identity as well. Now, there is one additional piece you need to take a look at here. If you go under Keys, this is where you can allow inbound access via this API to this AI search instance via either API key only, role-based access control or managed identity, or both. So if you wanna use managed identity on the inbound of calls into this service, I need to select one of these bottom two options, which is not the default. Here, I'm gonna select both, say okay. And now it's gonna automatically apply those settings. There's no need to hit save or anything after that. And you can see on the top right where it did confirm that this has been updated. So this was just a super quick demo to show you how to enable managed identity on Azure AI Search and Azure AI. If you have any questions, post a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.